Vertical farming is an innovative way to create more food in less space, using less resources. In this video, we will explore three predominant types of vertical farming systems used today. Although a lot of capital is needed to start a commercial vertical farm, the method can grow an enormous amount of food with the same amount of land due to better utilization of space. By using vertical layers or stacked towers, farmers can multiply their growing space and scale efficiently. The climate is tightly controlled and temperature, humidity, gas exchange and light are all regulated to ensure optimum growing conditions. This means crops have a shorter growing cycle when compared to open field production. And a number of companies have created a plug and play system where farmers can buy the scalable vertical farm infrastructure and begin planting immediately. Let's have a look at the three different types of vertical farming systems. Firstly, hydroponics. This is the most common commercial system used by large vertical farms. This technique for vertical farming involves growing plants without the need for soil. Hydroponic systems submerge the plant roots in a nutrition-rich liquid solution. Instead of using soil, materials such as gravel and sand are used as substitute for supporting the plant roots. This allows macronutrients to be taken up by the plants in large amounts. One company creating the plug-and-play infrastructure for farmers is Eponics Autocrop. It is a modular vertical farm solution that farmers can add to their existing farm to accelerate crop growth and yield while minimizing operational costs. It has high levels of automation, helping farmers ensure optimum growth and giving the operator full control. Another innovative example of a hydroponic farm is Infarm. Infarm partnered with Marks & Spencers, teaming up to launch the first UK urban farm in M&S's Clapton Junction store in London. They inserted a modular farm, helping deliver fresh plants grown sustainably in the heart of London city. It adds in-store theatre and can help educate customers on their brand and product offering. And it's not the only part of the world we've seen this approach. Modular farms in retail stores have already made appearances in Europe and most recently in the UAE. The second type of vertical farm is aquaponics. Aquaponic systems take a hydroponic system one step further, combining plants and fish in the same ecosystem. Aquaculture refers to using fish farming and hydroponics is planting without soil. Fish are grown in indoor ponds producing nutrient rich waste that can be used as a food source for the plants in the vertical farm. The plants in turn filter and purify the wastewater which is recycled to the fish pond, creating a closed loop system. However, aquaponic systems do not have many real life commercial examples. Most commercial vertical farm systems focus on producing only a few fast growing vegetable crops and don't include an aquaponic component. This simplifies the economics and production issues and maximizes efficiency. A lot of people are interested in aquaponics due to its self-sustaining nature and there is one commercial example in Europe based in Germany called Urban Farmers that combine basil production with farming perch. The third vertical farm system we're going to look at is aeroponics. This system type was utilized best by NASA to find an efficient way of producing crops in unconventional circumstances. In the 1990s, NASA was interested in finding efficient ways to grow plants in space and coined the term aeroponics, defined as growing plants in an air or mist environment with no soil and very little water. In this type of system, plants are grown suspended in a closed or semi-closed mist environment without soil. The plants are grown on a foam-like material, leaving the roots to seep through a mesh-like cap and dangle below into the mist chamber. The roots are then continuously sprayed with a mist that has all the required nutrition. Although not the most popular vertical farm system, we are seeing more and more small vertical farms incorporate aeroponic towers into their setup. In this system, plants are grown on a soilless medium called rock wool and are grown in vertical tubular structures with plants merging on either side. If you enjoyed this video, check out our other videos on vertical farming. And don't forget to subscribe to Food Verge 